Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I did my neon green liner look. Um, a lot of you seem to have liked it on Instagram and so I thought I would show you how I did it. So let's just get started. <laughs> I tried to pick out different products to use this time because I know I tend to use the same ones in all of my videos. So. I try to switch it up this time, um, but I am going to use this one uh, to prime my face. This is Laneige's Glowy Makeup Serum. I've been loving this. It's really lightweight and adds a really nice glow to the skin. And then to prime my eyes, I'm going to use Japanesque's Velvet Touch Eyeshadow Primer. I used up my Fenty one, so I had to switch it up. This one is a little bit creamier. I actually used a little bit too much. For a foundation, I'm gonna use this one from IT Cosmetics. This is their Your Skin But Better CC Cream. It has SPF 50 plus. This used to be a favorite of mine actually, but then I stopped using it. Hopefully this is still my color. This is in the shade medium. And this is one of those products that's like skincare with makeup. And then to blend it in, I'm gonna use this sponge from, I think this is from Japonesque also. And this is why this used to be a big favorite of mine because it has such amazing coverage. I'm just going to prime really quickly with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Just a light set. For brows, okay, this actually isn't a different product. I'm going to use the Dip Brow Pomade. This is probably a necessity of mine. It just always gives me the best looking brows, I think because I've used it so much that I know how to work with it. That was weird. So Cody's been sitting on the balcony like every day, all day pretty much. I am just here to exist and let him outside and inside and all he does is sit out there and then sometimes he'll act like someone touched him or like a bug bit him or something. He'll just like run off and scurry off. And sometimes he does that in the house too. It scares the shit out of me because What's here? Lately, I've been thinking, I don't know if I'm more afraid of going outside where there's COVID and racism and all of these issues, or if I'm more scared of staying inside with all of the spirits that are here. I'm not saying I think my place is haunted. I really hope that it isn't, but I just feel like how could there not be energies floating around us that are left over or, you know, like how could there just not be? So I just finished filling in my brows and now I'm going to use this uh, brow gel from M Cosmetics. It's in the shade Espresso to just comb through my brow hairs and this gives my brows like a really nice bushy look. Like you can see more of the individual strands so I think it makes it look a bit more natural. I like to start in the front and comb upwards and just follow the hair strands and this brow gel actually makes the strands stay up all day. Usually they would just fall straight back down. Do you see that versus this one? For the eyes, I'm first going to use a little bit of shadow to help prime the eyes a little bit more. So you can pretty much use any neutral palette. I'm going to use this one from Carity. This is their peach palette, just peachy palette. So first I'm going to take this like nude shade, freshly picked, it's just a color that's close to my skin tone, and just sweep that all over to soften up the eyelids because sometimes the primer can be a bit too sticky or tacky. And this step is totally optional, you don't even have to do it. Next I'm going to take this shade, it's like a light brownish shade called Atlanta. Um, if you have a darker skin tone, you probably don't need this step, but I just wanted to do it to make the neon green shade pop a little bit more. And I'm gonna apply that right here in the outer corner and then sweep it upward like this, where the liner is going to go. So into that eye socket area. So again in the corner and then just sweep it upward and across. 
Okay, now is the fun part, the green liner. I'm using this one from Fenty Beauty. This is their Vivid Liquid Liner in the shade Lime Fever. And this was actually part of their summer collection from I think a year or two ago. But last time I looked on the Sephora website, it was still there. So um, hopefully it's still on there now. Um, if there isn't, I know there's a bunch of other um, really great options out there now for colorful neon looks um, i think suva beauty is one of them i'll link it down below if i can find it i haven't tried that product myself yet so this is all i have and you can really use any liner shade you want like any color really the reason i went with this neon green is because um, green and pink are complementary colors and i was trying to find something that would work well with my hair color. <laughs> I know there are a lot of complaints about this liner. Um, a lot of people say that it's crusty, flaky, and dry, which actually I don't disagree with, and it does dry that way, but I actually find that to be a pro as well, and I don't really care so much about that. When I'm drawing lines like this, it makes it really easy to fix if I mess up. You can just use a Q-tip or a concealer brush to clean it up and not it just doesn't transfer or smudge as much so first just clean off the brush of any excess you don't want too much product on the brush i like to start off with just a little bit of the product so that i can at least outline or trace out how i want the lines to go i'm starting off here and just draw like a regular winged line the way that you normally would and i like to go on the other side to draw the other flick because then I can try to make sure that they're both even. But for the top line, I like to draw it over where my eye socket is, it's so like right here. Another way you can figure this out is if you look down, you can kind of see like a, a shadow or an indent of where that eye socket area is, but you don't have to follow that. I used it as a guideline. You can go under it, you can go over it. It's whatever fits your eye shape the most. Just play around with it, but that is what works for me and that's what I like on my eyes. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. I know when I draw it closer to that eye socket area, I do have to use fake lashes, falsies, so that it balances the eye look. Um, so if you draw it closer to your lash line, I don't think you would need to use fake lashes. You can just use mascara. So again, it's all personal preference. And start off here. You need a pretty steady hand. You can go slow and draw little dashes too. And just sweep it across like that. And it's okay if it's a little bit messy, you can just clean it up with a concealer brush, like a flat one like this. This is one of my favorite brushes to use because it's so versatile and it just really helps clean up any mess. So let me just do the same on the other side before I go on to the next step. See how it came out like a little bit messy? Yeah, it was a little too thick, so now I'm gonna use a Q-tip to clean it up. And like, it's just so easy to clean up because it's so crusty. <laughs> I'm gonna do this again. And now you just want to play around with the thickness of the liner. I'm actually going to go over my lash line first and that'll help me figure out the thickness of how I want the rest of the eye to go. And when you get to the end, you can just wing it out like you usually do. And just be careful not to blink because it does get very wet. It's a very wet product. And then if you get any on your eyelashes, you can just use like the tips of your fingernails to pull out that product after it dries. Or you can even just put on mascara to cover up the green on your eyelashes. Now for the top line, I like the end corner to be thicker and then thin out as it gets towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm just going to slowly go over that line. And you can pull the wing out further towards your temples if you wanna add more drama to the look. So when it's not fully dry, that's when you can go in and also fix the line a bit, move the liner around so that it 
it's more cohesive. That actually turned out pretty good. Now we just have to repeat on the other eye. So if you look really closely, you can see that there is some texture to the liner, but I've worn this look all day and it doesn't flake off on me. Um, it lasts pretty well, except for the fact that it does look a bit dry from up close, but from far away, it's like pretty good. So I also added the liner to the bottom half of my eye and it's really funny because um, when I first did this look, I wanted it to be like a bar underneath, like just a thick bar of green from the very bottom of my eye to the inner corner, just like a rectangle, but it didn't look good. And I was like, let me just draw something and see how the, what it looks like. So I ended up just drawing a single swoop like this. So just follow the shape of your eye and see what looks best on you. I really liked this extra touch because um, I feel like it adds a nice balance I don't know why my makeup looks are all about balance, but because there's like space here, I feel like this really just ties it all in really nicely. And it was such an accident. Sometimes makeup just happens and it's an accident, but it looks great. Don't be afraid to experiment or try something different. You never know what could happen. <laughs> so now I'm going to put on some lashes. I am using Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, and I'm using the Demi Wispies because they have a flare shape and look to it the outer corner part of the lash is longer than the inner part of it and i think that adds a really nice touch to this wing liner because it kind of does the same thing you're going to want to get this as close to your lash line as you possibly can because you don't have a black or brown or dark liner to help you cover up that lash strip so i like to put the tweezer in the middle of the lash and set that the middle part in place first and then I will go to the inner corner, make sure that is set in place, and then I'll do the outer corner. That's probably the fastest I've ever put on any eyelash. Now I'm going to tight line with a black pencil liner. Um, this is also an optional step. I'm using such a vibrant color. There's black from the last strip and I can also see my waterline. So it's just kind of a lot going on and it looks less cohesive without the pencil liner, at least to me, in my opinion. If you don't like tight lining, feel free to avoid this step. I'm using this one from Sephora Collection. It's their retractable eyeliner and it's also waterproof. This is just in matte black. So I'm just going to tight line like this and not go so far into the outer corners. And it just really like enhances your lash line as well. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I can tell the difference. So I'm just going over right there. <sighs> it's getting so hot in here. We're gonna move on to the rest of the face now. I'm going to first contour and I'm using a shade that's more of a contour shade and not so much a bronzing shade because I just want this to be a more matte look. This is from Fenty Beauty in the shade India Sun. I tried to find another contour product I could use, but um, I don't have any. Um, I didn't have any that fit what I was looking for, so I'm just gonna use this again. Old Reliable. Just contour the nose really quickly. Now I'm going to take this contour brush from Real Techniques and just do a little bit down the cheekbones, around my face, the usual spots. Also down your shine. Now for blush, I'm going to use this one from Lawless. They just sent this over to me. And this is like a really nice neutral shade. Oh, that's really pretty. This one is more, it's more tame, which I like. Like it's very buildable and not too overpowering on that first go. I still want to highlight, so I'm gonna use this one from Kaja Beauty. This is their Mochi Glow Highlighter in the shade Toy Alien. It's gonna go down the nose. I love this highlighter, like it's so pretty, but it's still not too, too much in my opinion. I think it's like just right. For lip color, I'm gonna use this one from M Cosmetics called Magic Hour. This is their gloss shade. I've used this a lot. It's one of my favorites from them. You could use a bunch of different shades for this look. 
I think a nude shade would be really nice. And when I say nude, I just mean like nude to you, like that matches your skin tone. I like this pink because obvious reasons. <laughs> now I low key feel like a toy alien. Have you ever seen the movie Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century? I used to love that movie growing up and I feel like I belong there now. <laughs> I really love this look. I think it's really fun, especially for people with monolids. I hope this gave you some inspo on different looks you can try and just think outside of the box when it comes to your makeup. It should be fun. It should help you express yourself. Your face is a canvas. Do whatever you want with it. You don't have to conform to an ideal or a standard because that is set by other people and their ideals and you don't have to follow that. I've talked about my experience with my eyes with being Asian American in a few other videos so I know that it's a journey, it's an act of self-love and self-care and it takes time to unlearn these different societal expectations that have been placed on us. I don't know what I wanted to say with this, I just hope that if you're coming here for makeup tutorial tips and because you have eyes like mine, I hope that I'm helping you in some way and know that I support you and that I want to meet you where you're at and help you with that. It's been a journey for me to learn to appreciate what I have and my features and like overcoming that is really rewarding and so I hope that for all of you as well. I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye.